Hello and welcome to the Corbel Space program. In our last episode we started our first orbital flight, which unfortunately didn't went so well. So today we are going to try to establish a communication satellite network that will allow us to go further and conduct more science. As you can see, I've already done some of it off camera and launched four satellites. Two of them are in low carbon orbit and two of them are in high orbit. And now we are going to launch a third high orbit satellite. And to do that we will use this monstrosity of a spaceship. Yes, this one. And while I'm adding some of the struts to make it less wobbly, I'm going to explain a little bit about the spaceship itself. On the top of it there is a satellite itself, which consists of massive girders, massive solar panels and some batteries hidden bin, uh, inside. There are also four satellite dishes and one omnidirectional antenna. It's basically done the way that uh, when we're launching we're using omnidirectional antenna and then when we are leaving the atmosphere we turn the directional antennas on and we use them further along the way. At this point unfortunately we encounter a big 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 problem and that problem is called Space Kraken Lag Monster. Game just doesn't want to perform well and although you see it in a kind of good frame rate in the video the real frame rate during the recording was horrible. It was probably something along the lines of 10-20 FPS maybe even lower. The reason why why you see it at normal frame rate is because it is been sped up to approximately four times and now to eight times of normal speed. At such frame rates the spaceship is virtually uncontrollable and it's practically impossible to do any kind of maneuver with any kind of precision. So the ascent is practically cross your fingers and pray type of thingy. Fortunately addition of the struts which happened in the beginning of this episode made the whole construction much less wobbly and at least it doesn't want to break apart or bend sideways at 90 degree or something like that. But the horrible part is that each successive launch increases the lag even more. So the first launch was kinda okay, the second launch was more laggy, more more more. So in the end this launch is practically worst in terms of lag. But it doesn't stop us from going to the well, what I call is high carbon orbit, but it's nowhere near what we actually want to have. The ideal would be a curved synchronous orbit, so that our satellites don't move relative to the position below them. But according to Wikipedia, it's around 35,000 kilometers, and we could only get to 20. Well, still it's more than halfway there. And although not perfect, such orbit will work for our communication purposes. Because at any given time the whole of the carbon surface will be covered by the satellite. And here we are, we raised our apopsis to 20,000 and we are conducting our burn to circularize our orbit and the burn is done. 
and our satellite is in perfect position, uh, as perfect as we might think. Unfortunately, due to the lag issues, I'm not sure if I can continue the series, because it's virtually unplayable at this point. Even removing all debris left from the launches and leaving only satellites, the game lags so hard so that to do anything, like remove any piece of debris, I have to actually relaunch the game every time after every launch, otherwise it just doesn't work. If you like what you've seen and you think that I should continue this series or maybe create another series in similar format aka using Kerbal Space Program with large amount of mods which make things more interesting but you have some ideas on how to reduce the lag or make the game more playable please leave those suggestions in the comments below and as always remember to like, dislike and share this video on the various social networks which you might be using. Thank you all for watching. This was Darlock and hopefully we'll see you sometime in the future. Bye!